You ready? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> hey everybody, it's David. And I'm Brenda. We're from OutsideOurBubble.com and guess what? We've been now a total of five full years living in the motor coach. Yeah, we just entered into our sixth year. Yep. So we figured this would be a really cool time to just point out some things that we can't live without or we wouldn't want to live without yeah. for our motor coach. So things that we've added to the motor coach throughout the years. Yeah. Yeah, because there's a lot of you that are new followers of ours who maybe didn't go back in history to look at our blog posts or didn't go back in history and look at our videos. So we're just going to quickly point out some of the stuff that we've done to our motor coach and uh, that we really like and that we would have to have on another coach. You mean they didn't go all the way back to 2008? Well, come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway yeah if you like what we do please click subscribe if you like our videos also a lot of other people know about it but for right now let's quickly go around the coach Brenda's gonna grab the camera and we're gonna move on let me know when you're ready dear okay, okay keep the camera pointed right <laughs> you were okay. pointed all over the place like you didn't even know it was on you ready I'm ready there we go Okay, so we're going to start off right here as we come around the motor coach. First, we're going to go drop to the ground right here. And this is a TPMS, a tire pressure monitoring uh, sensor. That goes to the inside of the coach with a monitor from EZ RV products. And it's a TPMS system. Got to have a TPMS system. Very important. I told you we're going to go fast. Underneath here, if you can see it, this is a snap pad. This is, goes onto your jack pad to make it larger and it stays there permanently so you don't have to put things underneath it anymore. Uh, it's called a snap pad. Again, these are things that we would have to have in our motor coach when we, uh, if we were to go to another motor coach. Right to the wet bay. This is, this big hose is your waste master. This waste master is a sewer hose and you're thinking oh it's a sewer hose is a sewer hose is a sewer hose no it's not the waste master is an industrial hose it's great and not only that it has a cam lock fitting on it which is leak proof totally leak proof um i'll show you that if i don't gross anybody out but that's a cam lock as you can see there's no there's no bayonet fittings on it whatsoever it just goes right in locks into place like that and it's totally leak proof i don't know why the rv industry doesn't use those but they should, but they don't for some reason. Okay, so we're just gonna move on. Inside here, and it's not for everybody, but it is important to us. We would not be without our foam fire extinguisher or fire uh, suppressing system. So this is an engine compartment, four liters of foam fire suppression. So if there's ever a fire back here, this automatically deploys and fills the whole back of the coach with, with fire foam, just like you see them use at the airports and stuff. Well, that's what this is. So now we move around the other side of the coach. And we get to the wet bay area. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in here. So, but the biggest important thing that we have in here is all the way in the back. That's the water softener. The water softener is used um, to soften your water and we would not be without that as we travel around the country. Uh, so it's, that's, that's a must have. Water filtration, most coaches have it anyways. And this is our water deionizer. The water deionizer, deionizer. Uh, I'm talking fast to get this all in. Anyways, uh, that, is, that makes so you can wash your coach and your car and everything spot spot less so you don't have to dry your coach or your or your car afterwards um, because there's no minerals or anything in it when the water comes out oh and that's my pressure washer I've I built the pressure washer new our coach not that we can do that in another coach unless the configuration is similar but I really like having a pressure washer built into the coach oh I forgot this oh knee pads everywhere <laughs> That way you don't have to go looking for any. Um, cargo bay, uh, not really anything I can think about in there except for putting a smoke detector in your cargo bay. Very important. You can have fires down there that are started by chemicals or by electric and you wanna know about that beforehand versus 
well, sooner rather than later. So we have a smoke detector also in our cargo bay, and I'll show you that inside because all of our smoke detectors are linked together. Okay, so now as we move along here, oh, this is our new addition. This is our little wolf. This is this wolf is made by Buzzsaw Bob. This is actually, um, it looks like it's, it's plastic, but nope, this is a tree trunk, and this was charred, um, carved by a chainsaw. He's a chainsaw artist. And so he made us a wolf because, well, we like wolves. Oh, ring doorbell. This is a battery powered Wi-Fi doorbell that you hear about and see on the news and stuff. We put one on the coach a long time ago. This is actually a 720p version. They have a new version, which is 1080p. That tells you how long we've had it. It's been on our coach since day one. Um, and it just mounts on the coach just like this. We used automotive tape and it's battery powered. Have to have Wi-Fi, of course, to in order to use that. Let's go inside. Can you reach the door, hon? No, you can't reach the door. <laughs> Let me get the door. Okay. So now we're inside the motor coach and the lighting's gonna change, so I hope this still works. But in any case, um, no, my cowboy head is not one that I need, but we are in Texas right now, so it, it is a must. <laughs> I just don't have it on. Um, but it's not something you need for the motor coach. However, what you do need, all the way down in here, there's the TPMS system right there. That's the monitor that monitors the tire pressure and everything that I talked about outside. So that's the easy tire TPMS system. That's the monitor that will alert you to the tire issue. Of course, GPS, this is a Garmin 770 GPS system. Um, you have to have a truck uh, or RV GPS because regular GPSs don't account for the weight and the size of these vehicles. So you wanna have, you wanna have one that's made for uh, a motorhome or a truck. So this is a Garmin 770. Um, what else do we have here? Uh, nothing more up front here. Oh, Wi-Fi. Um, this is, <laughs> don't ask me to explain all this, but this is important, the Wii Boost. This is our cellular boosting antenna. This brings the 4G from the outside to the inside um, for our cell phones and our data needs. So Wii Boost uh, cell phone booster is also very important. Another thing we could not or would not want to live without. Right? I got something. What? Oh, here, give me you here. gotta take the camera. Okay, you'll have to talk a little louder. Okay. I, I think. One thing I cannot live without. What's that? Oh, okay. my Instapot. <laughs> Your Instapot. Yeah, you're right. You use that thing all the time. Yes. So. Um, that is a must. Yeah, that that's a must. And of course, going with that, what else is a must? David's my, coffee machine. Yeah, gotta have the coffee machine. Uh, not that you guys would want one of those in your motor coach, but, and it's not a necessity per yes. se. Yes, it is. <laughs> David without coffee is no good. <laughs> so yes, it is a necessity. <laughs> okay, here, let me give you this back. Okay. Okay, going back up front real quick, smoke detectors. We, we put three smoke detectors in our motor coach. One up front, one in the back, and one in the cargo bay. Again, the one in the cargo bay is very important because we would rather know ahead of time if there's an issue before, before it gets way out of control. And since these are the Nest smoke detectors, A, they're not cheap, sorry about that, but they're also Wi-Fi enabled. We can get alerts if we're not at the coach of an issue going on. Uh, and they all talk to each other. So if there is an issue in the basement, this will talk to us and say, smoke detected in the basement. So that's pretty cool. Ready, in the family room. Press to, this is only a test. Yep, canceled. Canceled. <laughs> okay, so they talk really nicely. Okay, what else do we have, love, that we can't, we would not want to be without that we added to the motor coach? The vacuum. Oh, here, you do that. Okay, I'll do that. Let me run back here. Not that because it's a woman thing, but give you something to do. Oh, the, the Dyson, Dyson vacuum. The Dyson vacuum cleaner. It really sucks in a good way, but um, it's battery operated and 
these coaches come with central vac systems, but you don't want to use them. <laughs> All those hoses and you got to store them and stuff, it just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. We actually removed the central vac altogether. But this is a Dyson Animal Vacuum, and uh, that's another thing we wouldn't be without in the motor coach. So, like we said, we've been now... Um, well, you can't see it, but the... Uh, the, I don't know if this is going to work. How am I going to put this? Oh, let me try this. Stand pretty somewhere, love. Not that you always don't stand pretty. Come a little closer. Okay, good. Now, <laughs> hopefully this will not fall because we're that running... Be yeah, we're running a 4K, a very expensive Sony camera, so I'll walk slow. Okay, so five years. These are the things that we've added to the coach that we would want to have in another motor coach. So I hope this is useful and funny because <laughs> I don't know how else it couldn't be. <laughs> we just kind of winged it, as you can see, and we do that most of the time as it is. Yeah, I, we are not trained professionals. <laughs> no. I also wouldn't be without Brenda in the motor coach. Oh, is that good? That's good. Do you like that one, brownie yeah. points on that? Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, any case, I'm David. And I'm Brenda. And that's a few of the things that we would want to have in the motor coach. Oh, wait. There's another thing that goes along with the sewer hose. What? The dump valves. Oh. So back here again. Right here are, are like our electric dump valves. So when the tanks get full, and you can see right here, oh, we do have to empty the black tank, 79% full. So Brenda can just come up here, push the black tank, and she's now dumping the black tank. Not kidding at all. Look. <laughs> See, right there, she's dumping the black tank. And we didn't have to go outside to do it. So when she when that gets done emptying, then what we'll do is we'll push the button uh, for to we'll close it and then we'll push the button for the gray tank and open up the gray tank to flush out the tube. So in any case, cool. Okay, now let's try to end this again before we forget us, we remember something else. <laughs> so, again, those are the things that we've come across in five years <laughs> that we would not want to be without at our motor coach. Yes. Some of the Why not included? Why not included? <laughs> so, in any case, we hope this was fun. It was just a spur of the moment, hey, let's do this kind of thing. Yeah. So, um... Uh, Hope it worked. Yeah. Uh, in, <laughs> down below in the video description are links to the things we talked about, the manufacturers or what have you. So if you're looking for any of those, you'll be able to get more information. Or if you're watch looking this on our website and our blog, they're listed in the blog post. Yeah. In any case, I'm David. And I'm Brenda. We're from OutsideOurBubble.com, and we're asking you, when's, when's the last time you got, got outside your bubble? bubble? Oh, and I forgot to say, if you like what we do, please click subscribe. If you don't, Click, 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 click. Oh, well. Um, that's all we can say. Spread the news. Get out. Go RVing. Bye. Bye. Outsideourbubble.com. Outside